Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Antique Vintage Dolls and More and today I'm bringing the whole Chatty family debut. Here is Charmin in her glory. Hair is all done. She's looking really cute. She's looking really pretty. There she is. I washed her dress up. Ironed it. Starched it. Right down to her shoes. And there's Chatty, Taffy there in the background in her dress. It's not original. This is her original dress though to Charmin. It's tagged at the back. It says Charmin Chatty right on the tag. Then over here I have Chatty Baby and she's in her original clothes. This is one that I bought. I I don't know where I got her from but I got her from somewhere. But anyways I, I'm more than sure this is the one I got and then um, yeah I've had her for a while and I think I got her from maybe a, an, an auction in the, at the Salvation Army. I think that's where I picked her up. And then I've got Chatty Brother. Now these two, these three, were given to me by, were gifted to me by Janet. So Janet, there's your three right there. And then, I don't know if this is a complete family. I don't know who is all in the, the, the Chatty family. But um, I never owned these as a little girl. I do remember hearing of them. Um, of, uh, and I remember seeing of them in, uh, I would go visit my, my little girlfriend's homes and their older sisters would have them. But we were never allowed to touch their, their dolls. We had a play with the dolls that she they, my, my friend would have so anyways um but anyways it's nice to have the four anyhow that I feel blessed to have them and Janet thank you very much for gifting them the the three of these to me um they're just wonderful yes and there's something extra special about about this this doll here see see these glasses here aren't just any ordinary pair of glasses these here are from George Washington's fifth cousin, third time removed from his nephew's aunt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we really like those glasses and we'll always keep them. We might put them in, in the uh, Smithsonian Museum someday. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll see about that. I don't know if Charmin might not want to uh, give them up. <laughs> They've been always known to be with her. She she's the one that had had the, the glasses in the family here. So and, and if there's anybody out there that doesn't believe me, just remember it's against the law to lie on the internet. Yeah. Okay. There's a good one. Anyways, but she's looking really dapper. I think she looks really cute. She's got her anklet socks. I put the, the these are the ones that she came with because I got to paint up her other ones. And I might just buy her or make her a pair of shoes. I'm gonna, I like to try making actually, but um. I have seen Charmin shoes that people have made as well, and they look really nice, but um, yeah, I might just give a try at making my own. So, but there she is. She's looking really cute, and um, the whole family looks good together. So, th Janet, thank you one more time. They're in good hands. They're going to go right on. I have a shelf already for them. The, they've got a, a dresser, actually, where they're going on top of, and uh, the whole family. I, I think this is the whole family. I'm not sure. Um, if not, tell me if there's more that goes with them. I'll keep my eyes out for more. But um, anyways, there we go. I do have two Charmin so. Now, the one that Janet gave me does not work. She has this, the, the pull string. Um, I did take uh, the record out of my one that does work. And I put it in her and it just will not give any sound at all. It just skips right over the record. So um, it's gonna, it's, she's going to need some work down the road. Nothing that I'm going to attempt at this time. I'm not going to fix any of them just yet. And, and I mean just yet. It could be still within the year. I will do it. But just not right today or the next month or so. That We won't be challenging that just yet. Right now it was about, it was about cleaning them up. Um, she was up in the attic in my shop. And I wanted to get her out of there because I don't like that, that hard plastic up in the cold. because it, and, and then to the heat it makes it bitter and makes it want to break. So I wanted to get her out of there. Glad I have now. And I've got her up on a shelf where she's in a continual warm area and she'll be always cooled properly so um, important for these old dolls that are hitting up 50 60 years of age now so but anyways there we go looking beautiful as ever let me get back just a little bit more you can see them all and um right from head to toe but thanks again janet that's all i can say to you is thank you um they're like i say they're in great hands and I really am enjoying enjoying them, owning them, and uh, looking at them, and um, hope to share them down the road with other people as well. Not just on YouTube. My goal when I got into dolls was to get involved into shows where you show your dolls, and that's what I'm I'm about. I love the the talking 
and the um, though I'm I am an introvert in many ways um, I still like to push myself into places where I don't normally go to and that's talking to a lot of people out there it's nice to hide behind the camera but it's also nice to talk to people right on who don't get to see these dolls especially in my city here they talk about them have you seen one and that's big to them if they get to actually see them right face to face again the doll that they have played with the the, the and they go back to their days of being a little girl and seeing the doll that that was either underneath the christmas tree given as a christmas present or just because and that means a lot to a lot of um, older women who played with these dolls even brothers who got into playing with dolls which i have no problem with my little brother tim if he's listening to this he played with my dolls with me and he's okay today so there you go so just letting you know that so thank you again and i hope you enjoyed this video Charmin turned out beautiful and i also want to say thank you to dodie's dolls for the suggestion but it this the the suggestion she gave was the goo gone which you're seeing in the background it was her who suggested this to me it was not my idea and i want to let you guys know that that she was the one that told me about it and to put it on actually she told me to put it on the donkey and the lamb that i showed in previous videos and um but i'm just going to let you know also um charmin is not oily right now it absorbed right into her vinyl so you know she needed it and um it was very important for her to get that on her her vinyl it helps relax it um takes any brittleness away from it Re it replaces some of the oil that the plastic was made out of so it's nice to get that back in into her her arms her legs her body everything else so don't be afraid if some of it gets onto their vinyl rub it in and um even her face everything i i didn't i rubbed it right into her so but by the next day you didn't see all that laying on her. I did not wipe her down. I did nothing to her. It just absorbed right into her. So you can tell her 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 plastic was thirsty for it. So anyways, I leave you with that and thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.